hi this is me mrs Ra, and now we are going to revise the gcf and lcm by the prime factorization okay if you have two numbers like 16 and 24 i may prime factorize the 16 to 2 multiply 8 and this 2 is a prime factor but 8 can be factorized into 2 times 4 also the 4 can be factorized into 2 multiplied by 2 then the prime factorization for 16 is 2 multiply 2 multiply 2 multiply 2 which is 2 pi 4 2 power 4 also 24 can be written as 2 times 12 this 2 is a prime factor 12 is 2 times 6 2 is a prime factor this 6 is 2 multiplied by 3 then the prime factorization for 24 is 2 multiply 2 multiply 2 multiply 3 okay uh, for this 16 and 24 if i want to find gcf i must first know what is the common factor of 16 and 24 you know 2 multiply 2 is 14 also if you multiply it by another 2 it would be 8 okay if you multiply it by the next 2 it will be 16 but first if I want to find the factors which is common between 16 and 24 you will find that 2 is a common 2 is a common 2 is a common so if I want to find the greatest common factor I must only multiply those two it means the two twos I'll get one and the two twos I get one and the two twos I get one so the greatest common factor equal two multiply two multiply two equal eight then eight is the greatest common factor did you get that idea I first had the common factors, then I had the greatest common factor, which is 8. Okay? If you want to find the LCM or the least common multiple, uh, first I want to find the common multiple between 16 and 24. Okay? I'll do the same as the last time I pick up the twos. Each double two i get one two those two i get one those two i get one those two i get one then the two and the three remains i take them two okay so it will be two multiply two multiply two multiply two multiply three okay which is two multiply two equal four and 4 multiply 2 equal 8, multiply 2 equal 16, multiply 3 equal 48. And this 48 is the LCM. I wish you had the idea. Well, if you have any question, please don't hesitate to ask me anything. Thank you.